se estrese. And he's telling me to like not stress out. It's like, dude, you guys are making it stressful for everyone. I feel like I'm being like a Karen, but it's like, dude, like if the pump is here, like use it. Good morning. I'm out of job. And it's raining. <laughs> It's raining and they haven't started me. I've been here for like two hours already. I got here like at seven and it's nine and they haven't started me. I had got here and it was sprinkling a little bit already. And they were like, oh, like we'll just wait a little bit till it calms down, but it hasn't stopped. And honestly, it's just gotten worse. And I don't know like what they're planning to do. My boss had told them like yesterday that are they sure they want the load, you know, because it has been saying like on the weather that it was gonna rain and they still wanted the load, I guess. And I feel bad because now they have to pay like standby, but I mean, I was supposed to leave to Johnson Valley today because my family's out there and I had to work today because of this job. This is the only job I had. And I was like, oh, it'll be like a quick little job. It'll be fast, you know? And no, I'm here and it's already nine. And I don't know what they're planning to do. Like, I don't know what we're waiting for, if they're really gonna wait for the rain to stop or like what because the rain's not gonna stop for like another hour kept like checking up on it i guess they didn't like it and so the pumper was just like oh when when we're ready i'll go call you so <laughs> it's been two hours look at all this rain oh my gosh it's a lot look at this <gasps> That's crazy. I've just been parked right there the whole time. And I feel bad because it's like, it's Saturday and people are off, they're probably sleeping in. And I'm like making noise, you know? Like I should have been gone already. But look at this huge puddle. I want to go see what they did, but I feel like they're going to get mad at me. Stung by a bee and it hurts. Right there, my finger is a little swollen. I'm trying to find the bee though, because supposedly they tell you that it dies, right? When they sting you. I got so scared, something was like itching on me. And I like flicked it off with this. And then I felt like something and it was a bee and I panicked. And I got so scared, I called my mom. She just told me to wash my hands and put toothpaste on it and try to put ice, but I don't have ice. And I have toothpaste, so I'm gonna just put toothpaste on there. But that was so scary. This is the second time I've been stung by a bee. But okay, that scared me. Ah, and then something's wrong with my truck. When I accelerate, it makes a weird noise. And so they're checking that out. But yeah, meanwhile, I'm gonna go take care of this. And I stole a little plant on today's job. So I'm going to try to plant that. Look at that. Look at the difference. My thumb is so ugly, but it's... Oh my gosh. It's pretty sore. I'm surprised I didn't cry. I'm a big cry baby. My truck's ready, guys. <laughs> I was waiting here for like three, two hours. Two hours or an hour and a half. There's so many walks. And the pumper got clogged already. When we really started, we were probably like on the first yard. But I need help, you know? I was running back and forth to pour concrete and take out the rock. I feel so bad, but he kind of wants to be here. He says he doesn't want to be over there 
by the concrete, so he'd rather be here. <laughs> Those are his words. You have to do that, Atlas? Yeah, but that doesn't always happen. But yeah, I'm here at 6 in the morning. I've never done a job this early. Like the earliest I've had to be at a job is like 6.50. And I had to be here at 6. They're not really ready, but it's okay. So I had to be at the yard at 5, at 4.45. 4.45, I had to wake up at like 4.10 and leave the house by 4.20 to get there on time. actually going more back. they were pouring for the what are these called 
shades. <laughs>